Welcome to part four of my fat loss for fitness over fat loss for women over 40 series. My name is Catherine Tanaka. I'm a fitness nutrition and mindset coach and the host and producer of the body project podcast. Today, I want to talk to you about our holiday edition of how to stay on track as we go into the end of the year with your fitness, with your fat loss, with your mindset. We spoke about in part three about being all in and noticing where we falter in our commitment to feeling good for ourselves. Yes, I understand this month is the month where there are more festivities, there's more things, there's more treats, and there's more events than ever in the year. And they're beautiful, right? And it's perfect. And it's completely manageable and doable to have your cake and eat it too and stay on track with what you want to feel like, okay? Okay. Here is the thing that I often see in this month, that even despite your best intentions coming into this month, setting up your success in terms of your um, your workouts for the month and setting up yourself for success with your nutrition and having an all-in mentality, if you have a pattern of self-sabotage, if you also have those around you that have a pattern of also sabotaging you, this can be something really challenging. What I invite you to do this month is just get curious and notice. Notice how you go into a fuck it mentality, excuse my language, a fuck it mentality of saying, screw it. I don't need to do it. Screw it. I already screwed it up. This is very self-deprecating because this really does throw in the towel rather than noticing like, oh, you know, I did not plan on going to that meeting today. And I really planned on eating my salad that I purchased, my inspired go salad that I purchased and staying on track. But then, you know, my boss called me into this meeting and it was literally a free for all of all my favorite foods. And despite my best efforts, I wasn't able to do it. Notice your mindset after an occurrence like that. Do you just say, screw it, and you throw in the towel and you're like, I screwed it up, so might as well, you know, have a couple glasses of wine tonight with the family and might as well not do the workout today because, you know, I'm feeling like crap and might as well not do the extra steps. Notice where your mindset goes. This is so important because it isn't that we're not able to do the thing. It often is that I see that people stop themselves and sabotage their progress by throwing in the towel. And so this isn't from a place of bad, good, right, or wrong, because we are all human, me included. This is about noticing and catching ourselves and executing an action that we want different. I often talk about in my programs and for my client, private clients of looking at what is the pattern we live into And if you notice that there's a pattern that you keep doing over and over again, right? Classic one, snacking after dinner, mindlessly knowing that we're already full and just stuffing ourselves. This is a pattern that a lot of people need to break. One of the things that I get my clients to do is pattern interrupt, right? Self-sabotage can sometimes be automatic, especially if you've conditioned this into your life, right? If this is a paradigm that you live into all the time, the best thing you can do is pattern interrupt that behavior, meaning you literally recognize, notice what is happening and you change, you move, you get up from that environment and you interrupt that pattern. Because if you just sit there and think that, oh, you know what, I'll just sit, I just won't, you know, go to the pantry. There's this automatic automation that happens, right? That your senses just take over and pattern into what you typically do, especially if it's a ground habit. In order to shift a habit, awareness is required, and then a new behavior, a new narrative, a new action. That action is pattern interrupting. Literally, don't sit there in the thoughts in the clouds. Get yourself up and change the behavior. So one of the things that I often, most often see, especially during the holidays, is this action of self-sabotage. Not only does it put it behind, put you behind the eight ball with your practices, whether it's nutrition or fitness, but it often puts you behind the eight ball from a mindset perspective and really is puts you into this self-deprecating, self-sabotaging mentality that obliterates all your progress. And so I encourage you to take a look at this. There are four weeks left until the end of the year. And so it is completely possible for you to stay on track. And depending on when you are listening to this, and if it's closer to the end of the year than you would like, it is still doable right now. It is still doable right now.
I hope this part four of these five part series has helped you make sure you tune into part five, where I'm going to talk about the biggest thing to consider when you're looking to make a difference, even if it is just before the end of the year, or even if you're looking, listening to this as we step into the new year. I hope this has served you. My name is Catherine Tanaka. Thank you again for joining me. Bye for now.